This build is the light armor variant of the tank build. It is great for players with a little more experience under their belt. You will have less block meter, so you will not be able to hold down block and tank every hit. You will be expected to parry some easy attacks. You will be expected to know the relative damage of each creature, because blocking a might attack takes the same 30 stamina as blocking a black ox rock. However, overall, this build is still an easy and fun build to play. I give this build a difficulty of 2, tankiness of 4, and damage of 5. Build Overview The premise of this build is to mitigate shield's 30 base stamina cost per block, in order to utilize its 100% damage reduction. At the core of this build is the recently buffed, and likely the most powerful item in the game, the Ladybird Shield, which has a 25% chance on block to reduce all your attack stamina cost to zero. That includes the 30 stamina it costs to block with a shield. That means you can be out of stamina and still attack and block, and by the time the buff goes away, you will have recovered all your stamina. Whenever this buff triggers, you get 5 seconds of free stamina, and end with a full bar. Weapons Our main weapon is the Mighty Rusty Spear. It is the highest DPS weapon in the game, and inflicts a crazy stacking infection debuff, reducing both enemy attack speed and attack damage by 10% for a 19% reduction in enemy DPS. In addition, due to the Javeliner mutation in Red Ant Armor, we have a chance to cause the enemy to take exponentially more damage. We will be weapon swapping to cover stabbing resistance. Spicy Axe is used for spiders. Hammers are used for all armored bugs. Armor The crucial component of this build is having enough stamina to use your shield blocks. As such, armor choices are focused on stamina. For Tier 1, the Grub Armor is recommended. Each piece of the grub armor increases your maximum stamina by 10. The set effect is 10 millisecond less stamina regeneration delay. Might Hat gives a 15% increased stamina regeneration rate, but is probably not worth using over the grub armor piece effect and set effect. For tier 2, the spider armor is recommended. The piece effect shaves 5 milliseconds off stamina regeneration delay. The set effect increases stamina regeneration by 25%. For Tier 3, the sleek pupa hat is often overlooked, but an extremely powerful piece of armor. The piece effect is useless in combat, but the sleek effect reduces exhaustion recovery by 50%. That means instead of waiting the default 3.5 seconds after you exhaust your stamina before it refills to full, you can reduce that to 1.2 seconds with this hat and the cardio fan mutation. For the chest and leggings, I recommend the bulky fire ant armor. Each piece gives a 10% chance to inflict a stacking 15% more damage taken on the enemy for 10 seconds on hit. This can stack multiple times because of your fast attack speed. Bosses I like to bring a spicy staff to the broodmother fight. Otherwise, the rusty spear is still the best weapon for both the broodmother and the mantis. You can bring a spicy spear to the brute mother and a salty spear to the mantis. If you are exceptionally good at perfect blocking, the koi armor set gives a faster mantis fight. Mutations Javeliner is an extremely strong perk that increases all damage by 20% and throwing damage by 30%. Cardio Fan is a necessary mutation for this stamina hungry build. Corporate Kickback is an extremely strong mutation, healing you back to full life and allowing 5 seconds of reckless attacking. Mithridatism is necessary to mitigate spider poison, because blocking does not prevent poisoning. You can swap it out for the Mantis fight. The last mutation slot is flexible. I like using Natural Explorer for general play. Shocking Dismissal is high value, especially when outnumbered, because of the AoE. Buff Lung's always good. Ant Annihilator is great for anthills. Thank you for watching this build guide. If you have questions or suggestions, please drop them down in the comments.